It's a great question, online distribution. It's been a huge part of our focus for over almost six years now is to expand our online distribution. Um, ITVS worked very closely with PBS and we actually established uh, PBS Indies, which is an iTunes um, a spot on iTunes solely dedicated to independent work that's been that's come through Independent Lens and our sister series Global Voices. Um, right now, PBS and CPB require us to it for Independent Lens that there be a broadcast premiere, and then the next morning we can release it digitally. So that's the current model, and obviously we always keep talking about the changing landscape, but CPB and PBS, those are contractual agreements that are in place right now. That said, ITVS has been working in the digital sphere for, I remember in 1999, we went to CPB and got special funding to, to fund filmmakers to just make content solely for online distribution. And we've been doing it since 1999. And we have a digital um, uh, distribution platform for our drama initiative, for example, Future States, which are 15 minute short films. We're in our third season. And Future States is just a digital distribution outlet. And extraordinary short films by some of the best uh, th uh, narrative filmmakers in the country. Um, and. It was partly by design, because obviously, as you know, doing narrative films is so expensive. But it was also to take advantage of uh, the opportunities of being in digital distribution. So it, we're going to be doing more and more of it. I know Simon and POV are doing more and more of it. Yeah, we, we are looking at actually premiering, uh, do, doing like a, a week, uh, an online window for a week prior to the broadcast or for a number of films upcoming this year. We have a lot of short films already online. We're, at, we're also going back into our archives the past 25 years and, and, and re-licensing films to do, to do just, just, just online exhibitions of those films over the next, next year. Um, and, and all of the POV films after the broadcast are available online for you know, up to 90 days. I think. At, at PBS Indies, we have 170 films that are available online. I will say, right now, I'm, for example, trying to push PBS. I have a film about a really important issue that's um, health care. And I'm trying to get it. I want to stream it for one day on Facebook and do an online scream, streaming when the Supreme Court um, decision happens, but my broadcast isn't until the fall. So we're, we're always trying to push the envelope and find new ways to take advantage of that incredible um, opportunity. We at ITVS have created a new initiative called OVI, which is um, specifically to take our community cinema, which is exactly what's happening here tonight, people coming together and watching a film and then having a panel discussion afterwards, but we've made it digital. So you can now watch uh, an ITVS film or films from across public television. We're actually working with a masterpiece right now on doing an episode of Downton Abbey. And audiences across the country will watch it online together, and while they're watching it, engage online in conversations. So, um, and we've launched OV, I think, Jim, it's been out now two months, and we're building on it, and there'll be much, much more of that happening. And again, it's an ITVS spearheaded project, but it's across the public television spectrum. It's not just independent lens or POV. In terms of ITVS, we've also felt really strongly that we wanted to support filmmakers to enhance the work they're doing in transmedia. So we actually fund filmmakers with a separate pool of uh, money people who are doing different uh, apps, games, you name it, um, that enhance the content across transmedia platforms. So we encourage filmmakers to come to us with ideas. And the, fun, the projects that we already fund, we work with filmmakers to see if they want to develop new ideas. I still believe in documentary. I still believe in democracy. And I still believe in broadcast and long form storytelling that everyone can go and find what they want on the internet is not the same thing of everybody seeing these films on Monday night at 10 o'clock and talking about it the next day because everybody experienced it and maybe not everybody who holds the same opinion experienced it. So I think there is something still to be said for broadcast. I don't care about the technology. It may be over a wire, it may be through the air, but it's the, that idea that everybody experiences something as a society.